It's been a terrific start to the final series. Stay we just on. saw a great game down in Melbourne. This should be a beauty as well. A deep kickoff, and we are underway. Well, quick down there, the Sharks. It's a great Jordan McLean. Is Ruben Connor? Bang! He's driven back. Still inside their own ten. Tough yards early for the Cowboys as Jason Tamalolo with his first touch of the night. Finally gets out of the own 10 metre zone. Jordan McLean wrapped up there by Braley and Graham. Sharks fans relishing being able to play a finals game at home. It's not a bad kick considering where they were. Oh, there you go. There's a good charge. What an atmosphere, Ken. Yeah, it's a great atmosphere here at Shark Park. Always is. Sold out here. Although the, the numbers are a little bit lower than usual, 11,000. But what a start by the Cronulla Sharks. It was a great kickoff, deep kickoff. The Sharkies restricted the Cowboys to just 30 odd metres. Great start to the game. There's a real feeling between these teams. Oh, and there's an error. They put it down, Jesse Ramian. Yeah, he, he fumbled that as he was getting up to play it. Up here, Jordan. Let's have a look at this. Yeah, just may have caught the, the left knee of Tom Gilbert, and he is fired up. Wonderful competitor, Jesse Ramian. Disappointed with that effort. Now they're just going to turn that sure effort into defence now. So earlier this evening, the Canberra Raiders over the Melbourne Storm, 28 points to 20. The Storm are out. The Raiders live to fight another day through to week two of the finals. Here's a good chance for the North Queensland Cowboys to apply some pressure early and take the crowd out of the equation for the time being. Jeremiah Nanai playing it. He's Ruben Cotter. Tom Dearden. A hard straight run there from Tom Gilbert. And they're just outside the 20 here, North Queensland. Robson, here's Townsend, former hero here. Drinkwater to Hiku. Good tackle down low by Dale Finucan. Stopping Peter Hiku. North Queensland on the front foot. Chad Townsend goes short to Jordan McLean. And three of them wrap him up, including Toby Rudolph and Brett McCora. Robson is the last short ball. They're running it. A great tackle down low. Nico Hines stopping Tom Gilbert in his tracks. It'll be a turnover. North Queensland's attack looks really sharp. So early in the match, it's fantastic. But equally as good, the Cronulla defence. That's great semi-final defence there. I didn't mind that play by the Cowboys, which is another tough run there. Reuben Cotter getting involved. Didn't mind the, the last play option, running the ball. They're asking questions of the defence. Wade Graham. Don't oh, take the markers out. Play it on the mark. Wade Graham, one of the surviving members of the 2016 Premiership team, playing in this game for Cronulla. There he is on screen. Andrew Fafita, one of the others. There's a kick from Nico Hines. Of course, there's two members of that Sharks Premiership team from 2016 in the Cowboys team tonight. And Chad Townsend and Valentine Holmes. And the Cowboys. Their premiership came the year before in 2015, and they've still got a couple of members of that team playing, including Kyle Felton, Jason Talmalolo. And there's Val Holmes there taking his first carry of the night. Bit of Hiku. Talk about big buys in the offseason. He's been terrific for the North Queensland Cowboys. Hiku, here's Robson. Last play. For the Cowboys. Cotter goes to dummy half. Townsend puts it in the air. Great take. 
Ronaldo Mulatalo takes it well, and Jeremiah Denai takes him. CSC for Talakai in doubt earlier in the week. Picked up an injury to his ankle last Sunday. And he's okay to play. Sideline this evening, soaking up the atmosphere. It's good evening to Jonathan Thurston. JT? Yeah, thanks, Salty. The atmosphere is outstanding down here on ground level. There's a big breeze behind the Cronulla Sharks, 28 kilometres southwesterly. Uh, like I said, the atmosphere is great, so there's no dew on the ground either because of that breeze, that wind that we can uh, feel. So I expect a lot of uh, ball movement tonight. Scott Drinkwater. Fullback for North Queensland, playing his first finals game tonight. And he said during the week, it's nice to go into week one of a final series, not on holidays and without a headache. <laughs> Get on your drinking. <laughs> no, he's been playing outstanding as we see the first penalty of the night go to the Cowboys. Camilla Sharks too slow in the ruck. And he's been in great form. He wasn't in the team at the start of the season. It's got drink water. Of course, the hammer. The hammer, so Tabuai Fado, he was full back, but he's made his way in there. He's made that number one jersey his own. Peter Hiku, 10 metres in the Sharks territory. Robson, Townsend, Cotter, shows it, then charges into the line. Good tackle, Toby Rudolph down low. Forced him back a little bit there as well. Rayleigh was in the tackle. He's Jordan McLean. Good field position early for North Queensland. Jason Talmalolo on the charge. Good tackle down low too from Dale Finucan. Townsend, centre field. Jeremiah Nanai. Got away from... The initial attempt to tackle for Moylan, brought down 10 away from the line. Last play here for the Cowboys. Townsend puts up a kick, here they come, Gilbert! He's got it, can he get the ball down? It well, looks he as looks though he he's held up, no, he's got it down, that's a try! A try to Tom Gilbert! Well, great sustained attack on the back of the penalty to the Cowboys. Magnificent play, I said sharp before. Extra sharp tonight. The way they're playing, it's like they have all year. And this is a lovely little kick. And it's just a better leap. Yeah, they scored a few like this throughout the year, Fatty. Harvey Norman replay. It's usually Jeremiah and the Nye on the end of these kicks. But Chad Townsend played much of his career on this ground. He got that kick inch perfect. And you can hear through the effects, Mike. Referee Adam G he said, I've seen the ball grounded. They're up for this one, the Cows. Telstra fan cam. Fair few Cowboy supporters down here tonight. Yeah, there are, and they're very happy early on, Paul. Well, yeah, I mean, uh, it, that was sort of held up for a bit, and then he finally got some ball on, on grass. Good player, Tom Gilbert. It looked like it was held up here, didn't it? And just eventually. A quarter blade. Yeah, one blade. Tell you what, up something about this ground. The lights, they could use some extra wattage. <laughs> Mate, it's nearly in darkness. Hang on. Have they not confirmed? We're going for a review now, I think. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. Let's have a listen. Okay. So the decision is under review for the driver from behind. Oh. A driver from behind. Okay. That can't be good. So is it, this is so a player comes in from the behind. Onside and the catch. Now looking to see if Tom Dearden or any of the other Cowboys players interfere with the Sharks defender. It doesn't look like no. so they're allowed to drive right but not not interfere with a, a defender yeah yeah i'm pretty sure all their contact is with tom gilbert it'll be a we'll get a better view of it from this angle oh, 
can't see anything wrong there. It doesn't look like there's been any effect on the Sharks defenders there. Will Kennedy and Nico yeah, After reviewing it, Tom Dearden does come in contact with the defender. However, the push is of no consequence. Oh. The player is always going to ground oh. and gets the ball to the ground. Well, the fans out here at Shark Park only heard the first <laughs> sentence. <laughs> Wait for the boo when they see the green light come up. There's the try awarded. Well, everyone's confused. All the, play, the all players the came out. They, the, they, Cronulla want to play the ball. And the Cowboys players were all coming back to where the referee was as well, thinking there was going to be a penalty. It's a try to the Cowboys. 4-0. They didn't wait to get the whole explanation. Todd Payton's happy in the Cowboys coach's box. And isn't he fired up, Tom Gilbert? Dolphins bound in 2023. He'll be the youngest forward by about 10 years this year. Val Holmes from in front. Converts. Hunt, Toby Rudolph there as well. Well, how to take the crowd out of the equation by scoring first. Yeah, I'm sure that was the plan to start as hard and as fast as they can tonight, the Cowboys. And as a result, they've, they've got first points on the scoreboard. Tom Gilbert, another strong run, playing at five short of the halfway line, he's the last, Townsend, it was an awkward one there for Kennedy, he attacked it beautifully, Tom Deard and Reuben Potter wrapping him up, and Sharks pretty much for the first time tonight on the front foot, to start off a set of six, and Talakai with a strong run. And a quick play the ball. Braley looked to go down a short side, set restart. So now Cronulla. They can start to apply the blowtorch to the Cowboys. Royce Hunt stands in the tackle. Tamalolo is in there, bit of feeling in that tackle as well. Nico Hines. Gets a short ball away to Graham, and he's going to be wrapped up. 11 away from the line. Another set restart here for the Sharks. Toby Rudolph's on the charge. Rudolph! He'll get there! Toby Rudolph! For the Sharks! What a try! And doesn't he love it? <laughs> Over to the crowd he goes. Magnificent run. Big comeback. They've only had 30% of possession so far, the Sharks. They've made the most of it once they got down in that danger area. A simple play, and on that occasion, the Cowboys' defence just not up to it. Look, he hits the line hard. He gets through a couple of weak, weak uh, attempts at tackling. Geez, that was ordinary. And the referee's got his head right in there. You can see the try. Yeah, it was Nico Hines. He took over. He took over that whole set. They got a couple of set restarts. Harvey Norman replay. And he big Toby Rudolph. He just he found Scott Drinkwater in the line. And it was an inspired run by the big man. He had to take a few Cowboys across the line. Jason Tamalolo was one. There's the fan cam. Telstra fan cam. The Sharkies, they're up. They're up and about. JT. 
Yeah, both tries in this game have come off errors. The Cowboys got a penalty. The Sharks get two six agains. And it was great work by the half that dropped Toby Rudolph off because as you can see, Scott Drinkwater, the fullback, is defending in the line. They run the big man straight at him, and he's not powerful enough and strong enough to stop Toby Rudolph. Toby Rudolph, say, as Nico Hines comes in for the kick. Nico Hines to convert the Toby Rudolph try. Then we're all locked up. Toby Rudolph, the try scorer for the Sharks. It's only his second NRL finals game, but he's a, a premiership winner in the New South Wales Cup with Newtown and the Host Plus Cup with the Redcliffe Dolphins. Had a fair apprenticeship before he established himself in the NRL, and he's a, a real fan favourite in these parts, Toby Rudolph. Sharks through Dale Fanukan, nine short of halfway. This has got the makings of a enthralling and entertaining finals contest. There's a midfield bomb from Nico. It bounces. The crowd are calling for a penalty. They thought that Britton Nakora was taken out in back play as an escort, but it's play on. Townsend plays it to Dearden. Well, there's no hint of a or thought of a penalty from the referee there. Murray Taolungi re-signed with North Queensland during the week. What an exciting player he is. Tomalolo. Last play. Put an attacking kick up of their own here in North Queensland. Townsend puts it high. Oh, what a take. And he'll do well to stay in the field of play, though. That's good defence from the Cowboys. Ronaldo Militalo took it well, and then Kyle Felt took him in the touch. Yeah, what they were able to do there, the Cowboys defenders, and in particular Kyle Felt, was they caught Militalo as he was coming to ground with the ball. They were able to keep the ball off the ground and just watch how... They used his own momentum to drag him across the sideline. Huge play there by the Cowboys. That is a massive turning point. Instead of North Queensland, instead of Cronulla, Bring it down to their own end. It's North Queensland going on the front foot here through Reuben Cotter. Tackled 11 away from the line. Robson goes to dummy half. Townsend. Dean and wrapping around. Here comes Drinkwater. Kyle Felt v Militalo when they wrap him up. Talakai finishing off Kyle Felt. And went on with it in a tackle. And it's a set restart. Full set of six now for North Queensland. Reese Robson, tackled by Dale Finucan. Tamalolo to McLean. Jordan McLean loses it. So, there's a relieving error for the Sharks. They had a full set of six up their sleeve there, the Cowboys. Jordan McLean, he put a little bit of footwork on the Cronulla defenders, but I think it was Royce Hunt that come up with the. Good shot on the football. Penalty here for a crusher tackle. And a bit of push and shove too, and it's on one of the old boys. And Chad Townsend was in there. Oh, 
Carl Felt being put on report for that one. Nico Hines, fine touch. Ronaldo will start the set from the halfway line. Oh, Ruben Cotter coming out of the line. What a good player. He is. As is that man in Dalfanukan, but he's put it down. That was uncharacteristic mistake there by Fanukan. He got lifted up and, and he sort of panicked and then tried to pass the football in a non passing situation. So, uncalled for, but second tackle. Be a concerning thing for the Sharks the last two matches that they played coming into tonight's big game was their completion rate 68 percent and 63 percent in their last two they're currently sitting at seven from ten so need to fix that up quickly Jason Salmalolo for North Queensland now Chad Townsend, Ruben Cotter. Tackled by Wade Graham, Dalfanukan down low, Braley in there as well. Now Townsend, the Hiku, got away from Talakai, wrapped up by Moylan, and they keep him up. Stays in the field of play. Kyle Felt, Chad Townsend with a kick. And it bounces. That might be oh, still the last. Didn't touch a shark. Townsend's got it. Then just kicks into the goal area. Look out because here comes Bell. And oh, he did well. Connor Tracy stays in the field of play. Yeah, that was uh, great work by Connor Tracy. There was a thought that maybe when he was uh, first tackled, he grounded it in goal. But referee was right on the spot. Made that decision that he didn't. Toby Rudolph, the hard yards, good run. Kick for a 20-40, but he got it straight down the middle there. And Scott Drinkwater is tackled on the halfway line. It's not something we used or see used all that often, Cam, a 20-40 attempt. No, not a lot. Nico Hines there trying to use that strong breeze that Jonathan Thurston spoke about behind his back. Just missed, missed kicked that one a little bit. Got drink water though, covered it nicely. Bell Holmes playing it just outside the 30. Here's Gilbert, the Cowboys try scorer. Tackle by Hines and Braley. Now Townsend to Cotter. Back to Townsend. Loops a pass. Hiku had to wait an eternity for it. But he did well. And he's wrapped up by Fanukan and Moylan. Last play. Townsend drifting. Links up with Dearden. Now Drinkwater. Showed for a pass. Put in a kick. Kennedy's got it. And they put him in goal. Repeat set coming for the Cowboys. Yeah, great play again by the Cowboys. Chad Townsend, he's had a lot of heat on him in these last plays. So you can just see him talking to Tom Dearden and Scott Drinkwater say, hey, boys, let's go a couple of passes. And, it's, and then Drinkwater, when he gets the ball in the hands there, nice show. Brings the Cronulla defence up and isolates Will Kennedy at the back. We're playing some really good football tonight, the Cowboys. This could be tricky! Oh, what a drop out! Too what good. a drop out, the Sharks will get the ball back. Too good, Nico Hines. You know what? I swear he actually did that on purpose, like kept it low and <laughs> yeah. I know it was a mongrel of a dropout, but I think he meant it. Got the right result. <laughs> Andrew Fafita just reminding Jeremiah Nanai that he couldn't do anything about it there. That was great. Fafita in the background. 
Nico Hines in the Cowboys territory. Doesn't that just change the momentum in the short term? Sharks now on the front foot. Finucane passing before the line is Rudolph. Toby Rudolph. Oh, he's brought down now. 21 away. Braley. McInnes to Hines. Kennedy chiming in. Nakora. Nakora tackles. Haven't seen too much of the footy on that right side. Now Hines puts up a kick. Good take. Kyle felt. Took it well in traffic. Back on the mark. The mark has got to get there. That was a good looking set there by the Camilla Sharks. Toby Rudolph once again. Getting a one-on-one -on -one opportunity. Making a half line break, getting the, the Sharkies on the front foot. If we see strong defense from Jordan McLean. The offload away and ends up now with Jeremiah Nanai. Hiku. Robson goes to Cotter. Did and now drifting. Picks up with Holmes. Last play here for North Queensland. Townsend from inside the 40, straight down the middle. Crowd just rise to their feet slightly whenever Ronaldo Mulatalo gets his hands on the football. Another one of the popular players in the Shire. Talakai on the charge. A good tackle. Nanai met him initially. Now Moylan goes on his own. And he'll be made to play it. Two tackles left to set. Braley takes off out of dummy half, finds an offside player, and it's a set restart now for the Sharks. That was late in the tackle count. Now Cam McInnes goes to Toby Rudolph. He's tackled five away. It's only tackle two here for Cronulla. Nico Hines through the hands. Moylan loops a pass to Tracy. He runs out of room. He's going to be wrapped up. Gilbert in there, one of the defenders, along with Dearden and Holmes. Now Moylan. McInnes tries to put on a, a step. No way through there. The big numbers to the left. They go that way. Moylan. Here's Hines. Talakai untouched. CSC for Talakai putting the Sharks in front. And they love it in the Shire. Yeah, brilliant. Classic rugby league. They created the overlap. Moylan's got heavily involved this set of six. And then when you've got the nice calm hands of Nico Hines, beautiful pass. Kalatai's uh, a big bopper. You're not going to stop him. Yeah, we spoke about these two in the pre-game. Harvey Norman replay. Moylan to Nico Hines. And he just squares up Peter Hiku. There's a lovely line run there by Sifa Talakai. Just watching there, just square the line up. Nice soft hands. And the big man, he loves that part of the field. And the Sharkies, Telstra fan cam, they're up and about once again. JT? Yeah, defensively for the Cowboys, there was a great line run by Wade Graham that drew Chad Townsend in. He goes in, and then the centre, Peter Hiku, goes out. So once they dig in the line, you need to go and shut it down and jam, but great footy from the Sharks. Certainly was. Oh, just a great shot. Down low. It's almost as if he's running into your lounge room at home. See you, see for Talakai. Imagine having to go up and tackle him. Nico Hines adds the extras.
going, guys. The Sharks are in front by six. Oh, look at that. Toby Rudolph on the charge. But Ruben Cotter held his ground. Now McInnes. Mitten a heavy tackle. Cohen Hess on the field for North Queensland. With 15 minutes left in the first half. Living up to expectations, this top four clash. Second v third. Winner through to a grand final qualifier. Loser does live to fight another day. Ronaldo Militalo tackled on the last here for Cronulla. Nico Hines. Taken comfortably there by Murray Taolangi to drink water. Scott Drinkwater, he's through. Can he get around Nico Hines? Hines has got him. Good tackle, one on one. Yeah, great return there by Scott Drinkwater. The, the kick chase line, they were just fractured in the middle of the field. And all he needed was that small gap to run through. And I'll tell you what, Nico Hines, he did a great job there at the back, one on one, to bring down Scott Drinkwater. Townsend and Nanai. A bit of footwork to get away from Moylan. Can't get away from Wade Graham, who got him initially. Ruben Cotter. Last play here for the Cowboys. Townsend. Oh, here he goes again. Ronaldo Militalo takes it. Bit of hickory took him. Talakai on the charge. Still going forward with three of them in the tackle. Cohen Hess wasn't letting go. Ronaldo leading by six. Oh, more solid contact. Guinness tackled nine short of the halfway line here for Cronulla. It's the last. Nico Hines puts it high. Now Kyle Felt. Back three for the Cowboys in terrific form. Hotel Lungy, Kyle Felt, Scott Drinkwater. Dearden tries to dummy straight through. Tom oh. Dearden still going. Tom Dearden. What a try! Something out of nothing for the Cowboys 5-8 in the standard Sark Park. Well, there was absolutely nothing doing here. Tom Deering went to dummy half and it just looked like a relegation pass he was going to give to Val Holmes. But he threw a lovely dummy. The Sharks players, they all just stood and put their arms up in the air. And then he just burns the fullback. Harvey Norman replay. What just happened? The Sharks fans. <laughs> <laughs> the Sharks fans are mute. They don't know what to say. And that, that should be alarm bells for the Sharkies. They've had two plays there, back to back defensively, where they've just relaxed and taken a rest, and the Cowboys have capitalised with two line breaks. JT? Yeah, great work by Tom Deard. And when he comes out of dummy half, he has the ball in two hands. And he's able to see Nico Hines come flying out of the line. And because he thought Val was going to get it, he just shows and goes. And it's really bad defense here. You watch Nico Hines calls touch, no. And then William Kennedy, that's not good enough for your fullback to be able to do that. He's the last line of fence. He needs to be a lot more urgent. But great work from Tom Dearden. The Cowboys right back in it now. Reminds us, JT, of another Cowboys half. Good evening to Michael Morgan, if you're watching. Sorry, Jonathan. <laughs> Bell Holmes from in front. And we're all locked up again.
Tom Dearden. Oh, that's as good as individual try I've seen all year. Big semi final, he just took the chance and saw the hole and went whisker. Now Reuben Cotter. Quick play the ball too from Cotter and Leilua now. Britton Nakora will keep an eye on him. He goes to Cowboys though. They're on the front foot. Tamalolo. Long pass. What a what? ball. Hiku. Hiku gets around. Tell it guy still going. Hiku throwing dummies. Peter Hiku's in. The Cowboys go back to back. Oh, they'll be loving that in the north. Peter Hiku. With the third try of the night for North Queensland. Well, what's happened to the Cronulla defence? They're just they're throwing arms out and hoping. There's no shoulder, there's no collisions on the Harvey Norman replay. Once again, this comes out of nothing, but it's a good, a nice shift, they call it these days. Look at that pass from Tam. That's 40 metres. <laughs> and look, around, got Talakai for pace, and then, oh, wow, the fullback. Donuts. I'll tell you what, what skill this was from this man. Look at this pass here, bullet pass. That's what you expect from your half, from Chad Townsend, Tom Dearden. But it hit Peter Hiku right on the chest. And Fatty, you're right. The, the Sharks' defence, they're watching, they're waiting. They're waiting for their teammates to make tackles. You can't do that at this time of year. Jonathan Thurston. Yeah, sitting on the sideline here when the Sharks score, they go absolutely mad, but at the moment they are shell-shocked from what their team is dishing up. They got an opportunity to go into a prelim final before a grand final here, the Sharkies, and their defence isn't living up to it. They're about to go six points down because Valentine Holmes won't miss from right in front. Terrific kicking form this year has Val Holmes. Back-to-back -back tries for North Queensland. And they're six in front. So a six-point lead for North Queensland. And a very important seven and a half minutes before the break here. Shark Park, the fans are stunned. Well, I mean, three, four minutes ago, Cronulla, they had some ball. They were right on top and looked like going away with it. And bang, bang. Two fantastic North Queensland tries, long range. And the Sharks look shell-shocked. Luciano Leilua playing the ball. Now Ruben Cotter. What an engine he has. That's El Malolo. How about his pass? To set up the try. Townsend. Kicks. Lotalo takes that one. Good chase there from North Queensland. Talakai. Cohen Hess, one of the defenders for North Queensland. They need a spark here, Cronulla. Trailing by the converted try. Yeah, they just got to work through their sets here, Salty. When they were playing so well early in this first 40 minutes, they're making good ground through their sets, turning the ball over. A lot more runs like that would be good for them. Cam McInnes. That was a typical Cam McInnes run, and here's a kick from Hines. And then the Cowboys been able to clean up, get onto the loose ball. Oh, 
North Queensland with Dearden. It's his individual try that sparked the Cowboys. Kyle Feltz, tackled by Moylan. Hiku. He's wrapped up. It's a good tackle from Teague Wilton. Cohen Hess on the charge. Last play here for the Cowboys. Mulatalo taking that Chad Townsend kick. No way through there for Ronaldo Mulatalo. Paul making mention of Peter Hiku earlier about how valuable he's been to North Queensland this year. He's been added that, that stability out wide in the centres. Yeah, he's in career best form. He's had stints at a few other clubs, Manly and then the Warriors. Uh, but he's certainly playing his best footy here at, at North Queensland. But nice little play. Look at him oh, go. Here we go. Winner. Ronaldo Militalo inside to Kennedy and the Sharks hit back. Just when they needed it. Will Kennedy with a try. Well, that's magnificent. That's a big comeback too. <laughs> Great little play, wasn't it? Just down the short side, the Sharks. Kennedy might have missed a couple, but he's uh, trying to make up for it with scoring that one. Good backup on the inside from Militalo. Yeah, Harvey Norman replay. It's that, it's that same combination again. Boylan, Nico Hines, he just has that little sweeping run where he disguises himself in behind the front runners, which creates the overlap. Just watch this in slow-mo. Boylan into the defensive line, just squares up the Cowboys' Peter Hiku. He gets held up by a Talakai run, which creates the overlap on the outside, and they finish it off. JT. Yeah, it's great identification by the halves. They know that the back rower and the halfback for the Cowboys are caught at the ruck. So they swing around late. Good communication. They put the play on and very well executed. They certainly needed that to get the crowd back in this game. And like I say, it's great coaching as well. Craig gets given. He's obviously identified that during watching tapes and videos. Two great coaches, you know, good young coaches on the way up. Todd Payton and Craig Fitzgibbon. They'll be in the game for a long, long time. Nico Hines. Oh, he shanked it, but it went through. football it's been yeah, tick under a point a minute now the NRL Telstra Premiership oh, Grand Final returns to a course Stadium Sydney for both the men's and women's on October 2 be there to witness all the excitement live head to nrl.com slash tickets yeah McKinnis passing this time to Hamlin Ueli. Oh, he did well there, Nico Hines, to hang on to that one in traffic. Slow to get up and play that one, Nico, but he's, he's OK. McKinnis playing it. Last tackle here for the Sharks. Hines says, let's go to the air. Here's a duel. All legal. The chases, says the referee. So, no escort, and it's play on here for North Queensland. Kyle Felt, tackled by Wilton down low. Moylan was in there. He's slow to get up and play that one, Kyle Felt. Gone well, back down to his haunches. Help! 90 seconds left before the break. Cowboys now, 10 short of halfway. Last tackle, Tamalolo playing the ball. Kicking from inside the 40 is Chad Townsend. 
Every time he's put a kick downfield tonight, Wade Graham has been all over Townsend. Here's some room to move. He's well read in the end by Felt on Mulatalo. That's been a great battle there. Cole Felton, Ronaldo, Mulatalo. They've been at each other all night. Whoa, Wilton. Quick play the ball, though. Now Moylan drifting, Hines. Oh, look out. Oh, Dan has scooped it up here for North Queensland. Leilua can't handle. And it's play on here for the Sharks. And now with 20 seconds left before the break. Wade Graham. Could we see a first half field goal again? <laughs> well, they get time for one more play here. Nico Hines is lurking. Is he looking for a yeah, two-point field he's, goal? He's going to have a crack. He will. It'll be a one-point. Oh, come on, Hess got there. Britton Nakora has got it. It's play on here for the Sharks. Cowboys better watch out. Here goes Nakora. Puts it on the toe. And they'll get there. That'll be a try. Unbelievable. They went for one. And they'll end up with four, possibly six. They're having a look at it. That's the tackle one from the charge down. Looking at grounding. Yeah. Grounding, he's got a no try, Adam G. Yeah, it was an amazing play. From a charge down field goal to a possible four points. He's on side. It's a nice little play from Nakora. That's the bunker take everything the back. Field goal the is charged down, which places all players on side. Thanks, Scoop. <laughs> Great step, Nakora, and then he yeah, sees he's got support. Confirm grounding. The winger is on side from the second kick. So Connor Tracy. Did he get there? Oh. I don't think so. Touched it, knocked it on. Just looking to see if Connor Tracy knocks the ball on and attempting to ground it. Connor Tracy knocks the ball on in the opposition in goal. Yeah, it didn't come off the hands, but it comes off the forearms, and that's considered a knock on, right? That's right. Oh, so no try, and we can take a breath. Oh, what an end of the half. What a half. Amazing 40 minutes of finals footy in the Shire. And we are all locked up at half time. It's the Sharks and the Cowboys. 18 all. Well, if this is anything like the first 40 minutes, then it'll be a special second half as we are witnessing a terrific night of finals footy on Nine's Wide World of Sports. 18 all. Second half underway for Anulla, a home side. The fans thought they'd hit the front just before the break. They're running against the winds in the second half. Paul Queensland with the breeze at their backs. Cameron Smith and Paul Vorton joining me in commentary as the Sharks get within nine metres of the halfway line. Cam and, and Paul, how do you see it unfolding in this second half? Well, it was a fantastic first 40 minutes, and as expected. You've got two teams playing, second versus third. It was always going to be that way, but if this breeze is as strong as we're told behind the Cowboys, it may be worth six or 12 points of them in this half. Uh, if Cronulla can tighten up their defence and actually make some tackles when people make breaks and cover to fend better, I think they're a big chance. Kyle Felt. Well, nine sort of halfway. North Queensland through Jason Salmololo trying to put on a little bit of a step. Braley did well down low. Kick from Drinkwater. It's a wobbly old one. What about the bounce? Here they come. Oh! Penalty. It'll be a penalty. Unfortunate. He's okay, Ronaldo Militalo. 
Yeah, and he realised it was an accident. Bad timing, I think, from then on. Yeah. Jeremiah and the night. There was no intent in this. He was just committed to the football, as you've seen Drinkwater. He hits it in the belly. He went for that floater, and he got a hold of it. Oh, yeah, he just got the timing wrong. Thankfully, Mulatalo landed in a relatively safe position. to worry about there, Jeremiah Nanai. The ball had bounced. It penalised because it, it, it looked bad. It was fair game once the ball had bounced. It wasn't as if it was Ronaldo Mulatalo taking it on the full. No, there's no doubt. It looked a lot more spectacular than what it actually was. Mulatalo bounced up pretty quickly. The Sharks. Through Hamlin Newelli. The two number 16s there. New Ellie tackled by Cohen Hess. Both players been strong off the bench. Nico Hines puts it high. And the second kick there from Jesse Ramian. Drinkwater's got it covered. And he will be tackled 11 metres out from the line. Deer in the dummy half. Cowboys now, 15 metres away from their own line, working it outside the 20. 18 points all. And they're scheming through the middle again here in North Queensland. Kicking from inside the 40, Townsend. Now Kennedy. Yeah, he's looking for the 40-20 there, Chad Townsend. There's great kick pressure on him. It come from Teague Wilton. Oh, that knocked down by Kyle Felt. Well, Talo was trying to set up Talakai. Felt got his hand to it. And Sharks will get a scrum feed. So did you see the replay there of Kyle Felt getting his right hand to the ball? It was a big play. Oh, way down the other end if he missed that one. But it's like to see the Sharkies be a bit more precise with their sets of six here when they start getting into that second phase play they look a little bit unorganized one down one down guys hold out there halves just need to take charge of the structure of their set as the sharks win the scrum want to really show your support for your side back your team with a custom telstra fan banner search telstra fan banner now Set restart here for the Sharks. Full set of six on the halfway line. The crowd like that one. Wade Graham getting a ball from Cameron McInnes. We're in the Cowboys territory, Cronulla. Emlyn Ueli putting on a fence. Stop just outside the 30. Now Moylan, Nico Hines, short ball, Nakora. Well read by Dearden down low. Doing very well. The Sharks, 20 metres away. McInnes inside the Hines. Oh, he wanted another runner. It wasn't there. Last tackle. Nine away. Moylan puts in a kick. There's the contest. The Sharks have got it, but it'll be a turnover. Jump. Cameron McInnes has really impressed me. He used to be the number nine at the Dragons, and he's now playing in a role as a a lock forward or an edge player and he's such a good player with great hands he runs hard good tackler he's really come along as a player at the Cronulla Sharks and I've been watching Andrew Fafita he's the only Sharks player that hasn't got on uh, so far tonight and he's tippy toeing around he's sitting down at the moment but he's like when you know you're at the Brasco and you're waiting someone's in there and you can't get in and you tippy tell me you got to go that's what he's looked like for 40 minutes that was you at half time for <laughs> I had to go to the ladies no I had to she didn't mind I pulled her out is Ruben Cotter on the last Connor Tracy Oh, there's oh, a collision. Tom Dearden. Hold! Let go! 
Ronaldo Militalo. Play the ball from Ronaldo. Now Talakai. Plays the ball just inside Cowboys territory. Wilton now. Moylan at first receiver. Goes to Cam McInnes. Looking lively. Last play. Hines. Here come the chasers. It bounces in the touch. So the Cowboys play the ball. And the Cowboys, they were happy just to see that ball across the line. But the safety of field position behind them. 15 metres. Hiku now. Chad Townsend is appealing for a penalty at the dummy half. Lyle fell on his own 30. Bell Holmes. I have fond memories of him in this part of the world. Valentine Holmes. That's a good run. Got drink water. Yeah, it was got drink water. And here's Jason Salmalolo. Standing in the tackle. Last play here for North Queensland. Townsend. Puts it high, here come the chasers. Another good take from Militalo. Those last three runs by the Cowboys, that's where they need to continue to focus their attack. Just that leg speed in behind the ruck really has troubled the Sharks all night. Val Holmes, drink water, then Tal Malolo. This game. Well, it was plenty of points in the first half. Both teams just going end to end so far. No adding to the score in the first nearly nine minutes of the second half. 18 points all. Taolangi. Can't get away from the Sharks' chasers. Nakora wraps him up in the end. The good field position, though, for North Queensland. Dearden had no one to pass it to. Now he does. Goes to dummy half. Hiku. Here he comes, Andrew Fafita. About to come onto the field. Robson. Stand now, right side. Two tackles left in this set for North Queensland. Townsend. Kicks on tackle four into the corner. Bell Holmes out after it. Kennedy's got a hurry. And he'll stay in the field of play. Well done, Will Kennedy. Yeah, he did a great job there, Will Kennedy. But well spotted by Chad Townsend. As the Cowboys, they fire up in defence. You've seen Will Kennedy, who's shallow. There's a fair bit of space, and he found it. The right boot. Well, these are tough yards for the Sharks. Tackle three, and they're on their own ten. Oh, here's an early kick. It's for Talakai, who takes oh. it, knocks it back, play on. A lot of risk, but not a lot of reward. But they're out of their own 20 metre zone. Fafita. Game number 250. On the mark, Andrew. That kick's touched. Uh oh. And now the Cowboys. Through Nanai. Good field position now for North Queensland. Luciano Leilua. Six more. Set restart. A big opportunity here now for the away side. Locked up at 18 all. And they're 10 metres away from the Sharks line with pretty much a full set of six in front of them. Cohen Hess to Tom Dearden, Luciano Leilua. They wrap him up and wrap the ball up as well when he was thinking offload. Val Holmes goes to dummy half. Dearden. Now Robson. Townsend. Drinkwater. Short to Nanai, who's tackled. He did well, Matt Moylan. Had a bit of help from Wade Graham in the end. Townsend. 
Ruben Cotter throws it out the back. Townsend scoops it to Robson. Play on in for North Queensland. Drink water. It's with Peter Hiku. Talakai does well that time. Puts Hiku down. Ten away from the line. Last play here for North Queensland. Townsend kicks. Here come the chasers. It's been dropped and Deanon's put a hand on it. It's a try to North Queensland. They're going to check it. Okay, Jerry. Oh, no, 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 that he looks no, that no confident. Try. No try from Hines. G, the ref. Back, back to zero tackle, looking at grounding. Just looking at the grounding. Yeah, there weren't many Cronulla players around when the ball came down. I think it's Cohen Hess. He finds his way through some traffic here. Chases on side. To compete for this ball. And Nico Hines, I feel, gets first touch on the football. To clean run to the ball. Looks like an airy. It's come off his hip. Not sure that it touched his hands, so it's play on. And Hess tries to ground it. No. We're going to see if Nico Hines knocks the ball on before it contacts Cohen Hess. From this angle, different angle. It's hard to say whether it's touched his hands or not. By Nico no, Hines. No, no, just not apparently, it's a knock on. Cohen Hess get a touch. So after being knocked on by Nico Hines, yes, the ball the... is then contacts Cohen Hess's hand and is knocked on. We have a decision. Yep. Yep. So no try, but scrum. Chad. the Cowboys Chad. will get the scrum feed because the first knock on came from. Chad. Nico Hines, and it happened in the field of play. Come on, guys. It was close. Not early. There's another nice kick there by Chad Townsend. Blake, got to be on the break call, okay? On the break call. Just watch for Scott Drinkwater here. He's lining himself up on the left hand side. There's four Cowboys on, matched up against three Cronulla defenders. Come on, hold in. Hold in. Hold in. Robson goes on his own. Tackled six metres away from the Sharks line. Deered into dummy half. Here's Griffin Neem on the field. Fighting to get up and play it. Robson. Now Townsend to Cotter. And Cotter's wrapped up eight metres away. They're building here North Queensland. Robson and Nanai tries to put on a step. Good defence from the Sharks. Two metres away from the line. Robson, they go down the short side. No, they don't. They switch it. Townsend. Through the hands it goes. Dearden to Leilua. Valentine home. Beautiful pass. Murray to Lange. Beautiful play from the Cowboys. Lovely play by the Cowboys. They went down a short side, down that right-hand short side first. They ran into a dead end. They switched the play right there. Scott Drinkwater switch a play, Harvey Norman replay, and they just went bang, 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 right across the field. Nice passing. This had little overs play there. Well, they lure and a lovely final pass by Val Holmes. That's yeah, they, just great touch. They always had the numbers. They always had one person overlap, and everyone did their job. Gilbert did, and then great run. He drew, what, two players in, and then Holmes drew another two. Yeah, just the lovely footwork there by Leilua. He stood Nico Hines up. He just halted him for a little bit, which created the overlap, and it was great hands there by Val Holmes. JT? Yeah, for the first seven minutes of the second half, I thought Cronulla were really winning the field position. There was three quick plays by the Cowboys that got them down this end. And Connor Tracy comes in on that tackle there where he didn't need to. He needed to trust his centre to make that tackle. But I think the Cowboys have got on the back of this of Chad Townsend's kicking game. He's really turned the screws. He's put the ball in the right areas for the Cowboys and they've really attacked with their defence. So. 
He's had a great start to the second half. Chad Townsend taking control. You mentioned in the first half, Soldi, Val Holmes, he's been kicking extremely well this year. He's up around the 80% mark. Could be north of that. This is a huge kick in the context of the game. Half a metre in, if that, from the touchline. Kicking with the breeze. Struck it well off the upright, no goal. Tries for the year for Murray Taolonghi. Wanted to send him an invoice for corner post cam as well. He's taken out another one. Hold in now, Andrew. Oh. Can't he find the line? I wonder if they were quick to re-sign him, North Queensland. He's there till the end of 2025. What about the metre gain? Peter Hicku over 200 metres. He's been brilliant tonight. Huge. Huge Peter Hicku. He's had touches all over the field. A lot of these tough carries coming out of their own end. He's had some quality ball in attacking areas as well. Robson scheming. Then losing the ball. That's a poor error to make coming out of your own danger area. Uh, gives Cronulla possession. What, 40 out? That's what they need. I want to give credit to uh, Luci Luciano. He's been tremendous this season since switching from the Tigers. Now, at the Tigers, sometimes he just didn't seem interested in his footy and played lazy. But here, since he's been at North Queensland, and credit to the coach, of course, who's turned him around, he's had a, a great back end of the season, Leilano. Talakai. Fresh centre six here for the Sharks. McInnes. 28 away from the line. Moylan. Fafida. It was his shot on Robson that forced the error and has got the Sharks on the front foot. Dale Finucane. 10 away. Options both sides here for Braley. They go to the left. Hines, short ball, and they're in. McInnes. It's your man, Paul. Yes. Cameron McInnes. How good. They're back on the back of a North Queensland mistake. And it just goes to show, in this game, since 1908, you keep giving away possession, you'll get done. And Cameron McInnes, just, you know what, I love it. He just runs straight and hard. Watch him. Bang. Hits that hole. Beats two more defenders on the way to the line. Harvey Norman replay. This is when they've been most effective tonight. It's that direct, hard running. Everyone knows their role. Good timing. Cam McInnes. Probably no play in this Sharks out outfit. More deserving of a four-pointer here tonight in such a big game. JT. Yeah, it's great work by Nico Hines. He stands behind the ruck and comes around late. And watch him just hold up the pass. He gets the hands out in front, catches the ball, and that allows him to catch pass to Cameron McInnes. He gets pressured, hands out, catch pass to Cameron McInnes, running a direct line and scores Briggs and Sharky straight back into the game. Great play by Nico Hines. Cameron McInnes. There's a lot of ways to play this game, but you can't beat running straight and hard. It's... It's just the best. Nico Hines to put his team in front by two. It's there.
24 to 22. The Sharks are in front. Oh, they love this. Fafita on the charge. Terrific atmosphere for Nukin. And we've still got more than a quarter of the game remaining. Plenty of twists and turns left in this one. There's an offload. Now Wilton in the Cowboys' territory they go. Talakai with a strong run. Last tackle. Andrew. Hines. Ramian's charging out after this one. It's a good take. He was taken legally. Oh, great set up the points for the Sharks. You might have heard your commentary there, Fatty. The straight hard running. Paul Gallon down to you. Yes, great set by the Shark. He's in a great crowd down here. The atmosphere is absolutely outstanding. They're really getting involved in the game now. There's 12,447 people here. And they're all right on top of the moment. The Sharks leading by two points with just 20 minutes to go. What a game. Oh, you're not wrong. I mean, they're great scenes. You look down the... What end's that, Cameron? Down there. Southern. Down the southern end. Look at the forecourt just before the... I've never seen anything like it. It's been a long time. The number of people that are crammed in there, it's so good. Stand down. Kennedy playing it. they got good field position here to start this set. Militalo on the halfway line. Gets a quick play the ball. Teague Wilton. Now Nico Hines. Dale Fanukin. 30 metres away from the line. The Sharks. Oh, they're hungry. Here goes Nico Hines drifting down to the right. Cut out ball. A beautiful ball. Connor Tracy. He stopped. Five away. Hines going on his own. Can he get a ball away? He can't. It's a turnover. It was the last tackle. Geez, a good play. I don't know how much they paid for him, but it, it's not enough because he's transformed this team. He's made it 20 lengths better. Cameron now! Nico Hines. Bell Holmes. Blake Andrews! The Sharkies team going up. Around oh. Shark Park. Andrew now! Oh, milking. You milk. Oh, it's a mistake. The ball came out. Well, he, he called him out for milking. He milked it too hard because he lost it. The milk's all over the place. <laughs> Spilt the milk. So the Sharks now with a scrum feed just outside the Cowboys 30. Now they're up and about. There's a shot. The drone. Uh, Andrew Fafita has single-handedly led to two mistakes. They scored a try earlier off the back of one of the errors that he produced. And he was Reese Robson at the time. 21 away from the line. McInnes goes short here to Finucan. Talk about impact on the bench from Andrew Fafita. Here's McInnes. They wrap him up. Tom Gilbert in there for North Queensland. Knocking on the door, though, Sharks for Nukin. He's tackled a metre away from the line. Braley to Hines. Held up the pass. Connor Tracy! Oh, Connor Tracy with another Cronulla Sharks try. And this place erupts. Oh, they're on fire at the moment, the Sharkies. They're just playing the ball way too fast for the Cowboys. Just watching their defensive line, and in particular, Scott Drinkwater at the back. 
just trying to organise their defensive line, but Nico Hines, what a lovely pass it was there to Connor Tracy. He had about eight or ten metres on the outside. He just held the ball up, had a look for his winger, knew he was into space. To hit him into right on the chest. We're going to have a look yeah. at it. Well, I was going to say, possible obstruction. I was going to say, Val Holmes. Just watch Val Holmes. He's got the yellow boots on. He'll come into the screen just now. He actually falls on the ground. Let's see if Jesse, Jesse Aramian runs to the outside of Valentine Holmes and denies him a yeah. clear run. No try. No try. No try. Well, Val does his best. He could have stayed on his feet there, Val. Mate, I don't he even know if there was contact. He was could have there? he could have stayed on his feet and wow. competed for that tackle, but that's 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 what the game has done now. You you make slight contact with any defensive player, it's a penalty. Well, the crowd's got the call going. Please don't say what they're saying. That's a stitch up. That's so, a try every day of the week. So. As the rule book goes, Jesse Raymond runs to the outside shoulder of Val Holmes. There. It's the slightest of touches, but it's been an obstruction all year. Down to you, JT. Yeah, I think the Shark is really hard done by there. Yes, he runs to the outside shoulder, but I think Valentine Holmes needs an Academy Award for that. Maybe a Loki. <laughs> You've got a few of those, Fatty. How many? Only 11. <laughs> <laughs> Team effort, though. <laughs> Dearden. Wailua. Kanukin, one of the defenders, along with Fafita. Townsend. Hoists it high. Latalo takes it well and gets through. Still going, Militalo. He's been brilliant tonight. Has he what? What a great return that was. Just took on a couple of defenders, just put his head down. This is how to get out of your own end. Tackled five short of halfway. Tracy playing it. Nico Hines. Doing well there on Hines. He was looking to set up Nakora. Nakora goes to dummy half. Is Jesse Ramian. The footwork from Ramian. Getting away from a number of defenders. Before wrapped up by Gilbert and Tao Lungi. Last tackle. Hines. Under pressure. Got a decent kick away. Drinkwater takes that one well. And a two point lead. To the Sharks and the Cowboys need to turn the tide of this match. Eight tackle breaks for Peter Hiku. Six for Ronaldo Militalo. Well, these last couple of runs for the Cowboys, it's going to help them get some sort of field position. They have, they've spent most of this second half down their own end. Oh. Oh, that pass going straight to Nico Hines. And that's what semi-final pressure can do to you. Know? They're just behind on the scoreboard. There's still plenty of time, but that pass didn't have to be thrown. There was no support. And feeder, it's another good run by him. Been very effective since he's come on. About to come from the field as well as Royce Hunt. About to return for the Sharks. Here's Braley. Toby Rudolph. Good, a terrific interval, individual try in the first half did Rudolph. Playing the ball, they're inside the 20 again here. Moylan. Jordan McLean was an effort from behind. Hines to Kennedy! Yes! He won't be denied! Will Kennedy scores right next to the uprights. Yeah, simple. And once again, look at the speed and the pace and the power with which Will Kennedy hits the ball. He's just running hard. Here he comes, he's off the back fence. Here he comes through the hole. And when you run that hard, it makes you harder to tackle. That's another great try to the Sharks. 
Last play, try for the Sharkies, Harvey Norman replay. He was actually standing behind the play, the ball. And Nico Hines, he just, he signaled to him, get on the end of this pass for me. And he wrapped around, he worked hard to get on the right side of Nico Hines. Got the ball in two hands, shaped a kick. The defence held off, and Will Kennedy, he just hit the ball hard in space. JT. Yeah, Nico Hines has got his fingerprints all over this match in the second half. He had a try denied, a try assist denied earlier on, but they can't deny him that. Like you said, ball in two hands, keeps the defence guessing, and Will Kennedy hits a hard direct line and puts the Sharkies eight po six points in front, soon to be eight. It's, wh it's when they've looked their most dangerous and played their strongest style of football is when they've just had hard, direct, straight running. Like, forget about the, the, the offloads, the late offloads, the trying to finesse your way around the Cowboys' defence. It's all about the hard running. Nico Hines to make it an eight-point lead. And he converts. So tomorrow on Nine's finals footy, Rugby League's old, oldest rivals go at it again at the all-new Allianz Stadium. The Roosters and the Rabbitohs go head-to-head -head in do-or-die finals footy. And the only place you'll see it live and free is right here on Nine's Wide World of Sports. Now what a matchup that will be. You got a tip there, Fatty? Uh, yeah, I, I look, I've been a Roosters you know, all year. They've really come good. I don't, I don't know, I think South are in for the upset tomorrow. Didn't feel they played their best last week. And uh, Kevin Murray's on the field for them. Uh, she didn't play last week, of course, after getting injured. So I don't know, I just got a feeling that they might turn the tables. And, you know, just, just on how they're running hard and direct and straight, it, Sometimes teams can be a product of what their coach, how their coach played. Now, Craig Fitzgibbon was one of those players. Oh, not over and down with a bully, but he used to run straight and hard and, and played good every game. Drink water. There he is there. Craig Fitzgibbon up at the coach's box. He's done a wonderful job this year with this outfit. And you're right, that's the way he played every week. Very consistent footballer he was. Cowboys. 11 minutes remaining. They're trailing by eight. Cotter did it. Quick hands. Lay Lewis put it down. It. See, now the, now the Cowboys have sort of lost their way a bit. That last try was scored off a mistake. Here's another mistake that they could pay for, but they're just sort of slinging the ball around and not knowing what to do. The, 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 their straight hard running has disappeared. Yeah, it's just a little bit of scoreboard pressure too. Just over 10 minutes to go. They look up at the scoreboard. They see that they're down by eight points. They need points soon. Is there any chance to take this first semi-final out? Moylan throws a dummy to Talakai. Goes on his own. Tackled by Townsend and Drinkwater. 21 away from the line. Braley goes to dummy half. You locked in here with your legs. Got tangled up, made the play it. Telekai. He scored a first half try and he's tackled 10 metres away here. Braley. Hines with options. Royce Hunt on the charge. Still going forward. Stance plays the ball. Braley. Oh, there's a good tackle. Jason Tamalolo and Dale Finucan. It was a tackle that had to be made. It was a nice little set play between the two ruck players for the Sharks. Dale Finucan. Usually holds on to those ones, but he's hit hard. You see here, Jason Tamalolo outside in. It's the big left shoulder right in under the football. Now they're going to get a few chances here to attack the Cowboys. 10 seconds, thank you. Chief, thank you. Certainly 
have enough opportunity to score two tries. Hold there. Great. One thing to remember too with North Queensland, if they get a, a converted try at some stage, they've got one of the best exponents of a, this will help them get down the other end of the field, of a two-point field goal in the NRL in, in Valentine Holmes. They've got to get a converted try before that comes into play. There's a good touch finder. Hiku. Tackled by Rudolph in there for the Sharks. Townsend to Cotter. He stopped his tracks. That's a good tackle from Royce Hunt and Blake Braley. Robson throws a dummy not falling for. Rudolph and Hunt there wrap him up. Tell Malolo looking to wind up. They get to the Sharks 20, 18 metres away. Robson to Townsend, into the line, passing, drink water, gets away from one. Still going, drink water, still alive, passes to Townsend. Townsend with a kick from Valentine Holmes, I can't oh, get there. No, he's been hit. He's been hit without the ball here. Connor Tracy, Val Holmes, he set himself to take this ball in the end goal. But Connor Tracy, I think he he tackles him from behind before he touches the football. We'll see here. This will be a great angle. I think he's on side by a mile. He's timed this really well. Yeah, he's on side by two or three meters. Yeah. Valentine Holmes is on side from the kick. You see now looking to see if there's any interference on Valentine Holmes as he attempts to gather the ball. Yeah, he's tackled without the ball. He made the mistake, like of not trying to get at the ball. He could still could have run him off, but as long as he's trying Colin to get the Tracy ball. Plays the man and not the ball. The man of Valentine Holmes has opportunity to gather the ball. Now, so, Ben. But, but now, will they, it will can be a he professional get professional foul? No, no, no penalty, penalty try. try. Okay. That's That'll close. be Sinbin. There'll be 12 men for the remainder of this match. Wow. Yeah, ten in a bin for Connor Tracy. Well, we won't see him again. Eight minutes left. Now, yeah. yeah, Cameron, do you, do you think about taking the two points that are on offer here? Oh, look, I think the Cowboys will, will back their attack against 12 men. I think they'll take a tap here. They'll chase six. They'll chase six in this. Six tackles. Knowing that the remainder of the match they'll be playing against 12. Oh, they're taking two. They, I'm completely wrong. <laughs> Got me a beauty. One of your best. <laughs> <laughs> what would you do, Paul? No, against 12, I, I would have done the same. I would have gone for the try. That's for sure. There's now it'll make it a and it's a, still going to be 12 for the rest of the but they're like you're here you're 10 meters out why not you know you've got five tackles mm. surely well what they're doing now is they they take two they go to 24 and then if they score and convert it all they're saying is they're playing for a draw and then they have to score once again well he's got to kick this anyway valentine holmes hit the upright with his last attempt he guides that one through, and we are at a one converted try game here with seven minutes remaining. Well, they're backing themselves in. They've got, they got to score twice more to win this match. Todd Payton, he's out of his seat. Thirty points to twenty-four. And if you wanted a finals thriller, that's what you've got. This game going down to the wire. Nerves in the Sharks coach's box. You can see Craig Fitzgibbon, Josh Hannay there as well. The Cowboys. 
They won't want to make an error down this end of the field. Trailing by six. And all of a sudden, a spring in their step. What a game, what a night. The second of our two finals tonight. Both games have gone down to the wire. He's Dearden. Ruben Cotter. Good defensive set so far for the Sharks. Luciano Leilua. This is the last, and they'll have to kick from inside their own end. Townsend, though, they're going to run it. It's with Nanai. Quick hands. Kyle Phelps got it. What will he do with it? Puts in a kick. It's not a bad one. Kennedy's going to have to make a play at this. Will he know? It goes dead. Patience from the Sharks fullback. Here we go. Kennedy with the quick tap. And the Cowboys were ready. And it's a huge play for the Sharks with only 12 men on the field, getting seven tackles up their sleeve now to work off their own end. It's just confusing that, play, that, that set of six by the Cowboys. They take two points, and then they have six hit-ups for a shift on the, on the last tackle. Talakai playing it. They're on the halfway line here. Fanukan. Good tackle. Tell Malolo. Well, they're in field goal territory now, the Sharks. They want to make it a seven point lead. Doesn't look like they're setting up for it. Hines. He puts it high. Kyle Felt. Good take. That's a smart play by Nico Hines under a lot of pressure. This went for the... Went for the low-risk play, just trying to pin the Cowboys deep in their own end, making them travel 90-plus metres. Here they go. Here's a shift. Taolungi. Just outside the 30. Deer in the dummy half. Time running out for the Cowboys. Drink water. Good run from him. Into Sark's territory he goes. Leilua goes to dummy half. Townsend at first receiver. Here's Tal Malolo looking to wind up. They had a four-man overlap on the right. Last tackle. Townsend. Dearden. Hiku puts in a kick. And it goes into touch. Running out of time, the Cowboys. They can't ha waste any more tackles. They've got to try and look for a turnover. In this set of six, someone's got to come out of the line, put some pressure on a couple of these Sharks ball carriers, even look for a one-on-one -on -one strip. Just over three minutes remaining. And the Sharks, can they hang on? Leading by six. 12 men on the field. Connor Tracy in the sin bin. Cowboys might only get one more chance. Toby Rudolph. Tackled on his own 30. McInnes. Moylan now. He reaches the halfway line. We're told to go back and play it. Fighting in the tackle, thought about an offload. The call of held had come. Here's the last. Hines. Good take there by Drinkwater. Taolungi to Bell Holmes. Now that's off Nakora. So tackle zero here for North Queensland. Two minutes to go. That man there, he's got to get the ball in his hands nearly every tackle. Leilua. He gets a pass away and they did well to hold on to that one. Hiku in traffic. Oh no. Mistake. That could be it. An error. Inside the last two minutes. Oh, challenge. Two. Captain's challenge. Cowboys challenge a decision to lost ball, claiming like interference. So, captain's challenge is that more out of hope. 
We're going to see if there's any ruck interference from Matt Moylan. Matt Moylan's foot comes back through the ruck and contacts the ball. The challenge is successful. Successful challenge. And it'll be a penalty here, will it? Yeah, this will be a penalty, Cowboys. Time's still off. Chad Townsend, he has to find a lot of ground with this kick. And the hammer's, the hammer's about to come on for the first time in the match tonight for North Queensland. 90 seconds remaining. Hamaso Tabuafido on the field for North Queensland. He gets his first touch of the ball and he's wrapped up. Can the Sharks hold on? Luciano Leilua. Cowboys with good field position. They're planning something, the playmakers. Dearden. Now Townsend. Drink water. Hamaso Tabuafido. Hiku. It's oh. been knocked down. Knocked down, so the Cowboys will get a scrum feed here. They're going to pack it quickly. They've got to get numbers there, though, Salty. There's not and enough players in the scrum. Time ticking down. 50 seconds left. 48, 47 seconds left. Wow. Yeah. Here we go. One, one set of six. What have they got? Go, well, you guys. see Chad Townsend, Scott Drinkwater, and Tom Dearden yep. all in there, bunched in there near the scrum. They're setting up. Okay, here we go. One big play to finish. I think it might be Scott Drinkwater and his footwork that may create some points here for the Cowboys. Well, here we go. They feed the scrum and win it. It's with Dearden to Val Holmes. Back towards where the scrum was. He's tackled. 40 seconds remaining. 12 metres away. They're trailing by six. It's with Ruben Cotter. He tries to get the legs pumping, but he's tackled. Eight away from the line. Robson. Drink water. Oh, 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 up and try. They're in. Jason Talbololo has scored a try for the Cowboys. Yes. And they'll be two points away from taking oh, us to extra time. And they're right next to the sticks. What a, what a player. Give it to your best player. That's what you do in situations like that. And he is their best. It's just opened up. Look at him go, bang. Could have put a truck through there, a bus, you name it, a yacht. Brilliant. Harvey Norman replay. Scott Drinkwater, he put himself into the first receiver position. And it was the run from Jeremiah Nanai that held up Matt Moylan, which then opened up a huge space for Tao Malolo to run through. Chad Townsend, he loved it. Todd Payton, he's happy. Well, there goes the full-time siren. You're happy they took it too early in our camp. Oh, <laughs> never in doubt. <laughs> never in doubt. Now, of course, this conversion has to go through, but reminding you, it is not golden point coming up. We go for 10 minutes of extra time. Oh, a bit of overtime tonight, Fatty. Beautiful. You'll put an invoice in. <laughs> Well, Val's got to kick this one first. It's a big kick. And in general terms, you'd be saying it's an easy one. He'll throw it over from there. Pressure. He's just off centre, Val Holmes. This to take us to extra time. Oh, what a night. We're going to get an encore, are we? Yes, we are. We are going to extra time. After the 80 minutes, we're all locked up at 30 all. Uh, five minutes each way, no matter what. He's just explaining to the players what happens. One good thing is that they'll yeah, get no 13 back on the field in about two or three minutes. That's right. Connor will come back on. Connor Tracy, the winger. So that'll help. It's amazing, isn't it? If you yeah. lose one player, 12 players for you know, the last eight minutes and they score eight points. Yeah. Halve up the game and uh, away we go. Another 10 minutes of rugby league ahead of us. Well, the last time Paul and Cam that we had extra time was between these two teams. It was when they played an elimination final. The Cowboys won at 15-14 in 2017 after extra time.
Dal Finucan doing a lot of talking there in the Sharks huddle. Which way are you leaning? Well, I think the Cowboys. I'll stick with the Sharks. They get their player back on in a couple of minutes. So it's five minutes. Then they'll have a break, play for another five. If we're still level after that, then it'll be golden point. Down to you, Freddie. He's not ready for us. Yeah, Cronulla get a toss here, and the Cowboys will call. Adam G's just called Chad Townsend out now. Up it goes. Heads, Nico. Nico gets the call. He's going to go with the breeze, Nico. It looks like the Cowboys will kick off. All right. What an atmosphere. You just walked out in the middle of the ground there, Freddie. Unbelievable atmosphere. That's fantastic. Well, obviously, no one's left. I think more have come in. They've somehow jammed people <laughs> on top of people here. Oh, what a night. What a game. It's fitting that we're going to get more. JT. Yeah, what a game we have on our hands. Connor Tracy is still in the bin. So he's got 49 seconds to go before he comes back onto the field. And then it'll be 13 on 13 for extra time. The prize is a grand final qualifier. There you get a, a look at how packed Shark Park is. 30 points all. North Queensland to kick off. So we're underway. And we have got 10 minutes to play. Five minutes and they change ends. So the Sharks are about to be in 23 seconds time. Back to 13 on 13. Connor Tracy is waiting patiently. Fanuka in the high and short oh. ball. They put it down. And Luciano Leilua has got it for the Cowboys. Yeah. Finds drink water. Just pushed a pass there. One too many passes. Dale Fanukan. He tipped onto Nico Hines. He then went trying to short ball to Britton Acora. He couldn't quite hold on. Big chance for the Cowboys. Jeremiah Nanai. 13 on 13, Connor Tracy's back on the field, there he is. Cotter, Dearden, Drinkwater. Holmes is wrapped up. Quick play the ball from Holmes. Dearden now, Tal Malolo. Why not have another go? He scored the try in the 80th minute, the centers to extra time. Cotter. On the charge, he stops. Last play here for North Queensland. Can they get a repeat set? They might want more. Fell the fly high. Kyle fell the fly high. He had it and lost it. And it's a seven tackle set now for the Sharks. Referee's checking on something. Uh, making sure that there's no knock on off Connor Tracy as well. Okay, so. In the hands of Connor yeah. Tracy here. Yeah. 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 Connor got his hands to it first and knocked it on into Kyle Felt. The outside chases are on from the kick. No, it's all Kyle. Kyle Felt attempts to catch the ball, makes contact. Yeah. And then knocks on in the opposition as well. Wow. Little for the Sharkies. Felt usually nice as those plays. They're the ones he usually takes, Kim, aren't they? The hard ones. Out together yeah. Now. yeah. It was a difficult Wait. attempt, but he usually, as I said, he usually ices those plays. Oh, oh the turnover. From Toby Rudolph. And Ruben Cotter's got it now for the Cowboys. Is that Tao Malolo again? Big shot. Huge game. Down, down. 
20 metres away, Leilua playing the ball for North Queensland. Tell Malolo wrapped up Teague Wilton. Good tackle down low. Matt Boylan over the top. Townsend. Here's Cohen Hess. Nine away from the line. Quick play the ball from Cohen. That was well read by the Sharks defence. Nowhere to go. There for drink water. Now Townsend. Tell Malolo. Did and through the hands. Leilua. Luciano Leilua gets a pass away on the half volley. Dearden. Tom Dearden loses it now. Good contact. Let Dale Panukin. Brayley. In there and Brayley. Well, you can see a bit of fatigue oh. catching up with the players now. Oh, another good hit. Oh. Tom Dearden is just returned serve. Yeah, they want a penalty. <laughs> Just over 90 seconds left before we'll stop and change hands. Here's a 40 20 attempt from Nico Hines, but hasn't got the angle on it. Kyle Felt gets it on the bounce. And he's wrapped up just outside his own 20. It's tense. How is it on ground level, JT? Oh, it's outstanding down here on ground level. The crowd is starting to go absolutely bananas. We've only got a couple of minutes, just over a minute, sorry, till uh, they change ends. So I think uh, the halves certainly need to stand up. Nico Hine and Chad Townsend will certainly have an influence on this match. A minute left in the first of two five-minute extra time periods. Cohen Hess. Good run. Oh, oh, then the mistake's made at the end of it. Oh, did he try to throw a pass? I think so. I think he tried oh, to flick God. it out. Oh, please go. Play your set out, Cronulla. Have a couple of cracks. If it's not working, get back to the middle of the field. 20 seconds to go. Have a shot at field goal. Just take the points on offer. Bulatalo. He's tackled. 23 away. Nico Hines, he'll have a shot. It's touched. Moylan's got it. Loses he it. Lost it. And the Cowboys have picked it up. Leilua to Dearden. Tom Dearden. He almost goes through. And that will be half time of extra time. And we're still locked up at 30 points all. I'll have a break and then turn around and we'll go again for another five minutes at least. What a game. What a game these players are producing for us all tonight. Exactly what we'd all been expecting all week from these two. So evenly contested this match. So evenly matched up player on player and still after 85 minutes of football we're locked at 30 all would you be brave enough for a short kickoff <laughs> well you know as I said Ben and Shane Walker many many years ago started doing the short kickoffs and they tell me that they got 70% of them back so Possibly, yes. So if we're level after another five minutes, then we have another break and we play Golden Point. Wow. Well, oh, look at the setup of the ball there from Braley. He's not going short. He's thinking, get this ball as far away from our defensive end as possible. So five more minutes of extra time. And then we go to Golden Point. We could be here till midnight. Oh, you don't want this to oh, end. What a contest. Cowboys coming out of their own end. Salmalolo playing it. Here's Luciano Leilua. 
Been strong off the bench. And have a look at the tackles, the work rate by these players. As Leilu is on the ground. Braley, he's at 60. Cotter and Robson, 54, 52. Nakora, 48. And Finucane, 40 tackles. What an amazing game of football. Ooh. Yeah, referee Adam G is saying it's been reviewed. And tackle three, play on. Well, Paul Gallon, what would you be? What would your advice be down there if you were captain tonight, Gal? Yeah, look, I'll be saying, don't, don't panic, boys. Don't panic. We've got a five minutes here, and if it gets late in the game, make sure we get in the right position to kick a field goal. Don't just take a 50 51 from 40 or 50 metres out. Get in the right position. No, make sure you nail it. Townsend kicks downfield. Kennedy takes it. Good chase from North Queensland. He's tackled inside his own 20. Mulatalo. They won't want to make an error here. The Sharks, they're going to shift it. Ramian, good tackle. Uh -oh, Valentine, oh. That's a big play. He's seen the opportunity to go and pick him off. Connor Tracy wrapped up. Three and a half minutes left in extra time. Last one, Jeremiah. McInnes playing it on the last. Hines. Taken on the full, he attacked the ball there. Did drink water, gives it to Kyle Feltz. Wait, give space. Don't lock him in. It's the Cowboys' turn. Together. This is going to be the first team to crack. We'll blink first. 30, 30 points all. We're still not at golden point. We're in extra time, Jeremiah and I. In the Sharks territory they go. Potter. He's wrapped up. Oh, Val Holmes. Townsend puts it high. Mulatalo takes it well. And gets a pass away. Kennedy's wrapped up. Just over two minutes left. No. We've been going for nearly 88 minutes. Talakai tripped up just when he looked to wind up the big shark centre. Seems an age ago that he scored. Under two minutes left. Nico Hines. Is Wade Graham. Last one. Do they think about a field goal here? Jason, Jason. Hines. He Boys. kicks downfield. Drink water. Takes it well. Let go, Wade. 90 seconds left in extra time Let before Wade. we switch to Golden Wade. Point. Here's the last opportunity for the Cowboys. And they can't Jason, afford a go. penalty, Cronulla. Kyle felt the Cowboys can't afford a mistake. Hiku. Good defense. Talakai in there. Royce Hunt over there as well, making the tackle. Talmalolo trying to wind up. Rick Nakora with the tackle. Here's the last. We're into the 90th minute. Townsend kicks on the bounce for Latalo. Oh, what are the shark he's got? Ronaldo tackled 20 That's short of the halfway line. Oh, no. Oh, play the ball. Oh, no. It, got him for a crook play the ball. Oh, now they're going to challenge. Have to. They have to challenge. Sharks telling the decision of knock on, claiming ruck interference. 33 seconds left in the match. From Peter Hiku. Oh, you can see this is if there is any run interference, and then if the ball is lost at all by Ronaldo Mutala, he's rolled it back. Yeah. 
And then well, these are these are one of those 50-50 calls. They can go either way. Bernardo Bulatalo places the ball on the ground and plays it backwards with yeah, his foot. That's a play the ball. The challenge is successful. They've got out of that. Wow. You know, oh. Referee was a fair way away. Obviously, he couldn't see it. He might have thought that he dropped it, so you can't really blame him. But, whew. <laughs> <laughs> if you're a Cronulla fan, otherwise that would have been Coyton's. <laughs> 30 seconds remaining. They're still inside their own end here, Cronulla. Repeating in 30 seconds time, if the score remains the same, we're going to Golden Point. Nico Hines to Jesse Ramian. Eight short of halfway. They're still inside their own end. They might only have one more play. Wade Graham, he's wrapped up, and they won't get to play the ball. 30 all, siren sounds, we've had extra time, we've had the 80 minutes, now we're going to golden points. <laughs> Fatty's checking the watch. I'm normally in bed, I'm normally in bed an hour and a half ago. Triple time now, triple. <laughs> I'll check my contract. Well, they just, both teams, they played quite conservative. Yeah, they did in that extra time. You know what? I, I think Andrew Fafita didn't he score the match-winning try in a grand final, 2016? He did. Uh, I yes. think they might need a little bit of Andrew on for the for a few minutes. You know, a, a dashing burst, a big run. Who knows? So golden point now. Oh, what a night! I think we're going to get. JT out in the field. They'll do another coin toss. And this is a big result if you can win it. So both teams in a huddle. Chad Townsend doing a lot of talking there, as you can see. We're waiting for the coin toss. For Golden Point. Here we go. Yeah, oh, the Cowboys have won it. Oh, it just keeps going now, Chad, right? Golden Point. Yeah, it just keeps yeah, going. So the Cowboys have won the, the toss, and Chad Townsend, he's Wait. chosen to run to the north, which is yep. the way the breeze is blowing. So if they're within any uh, range of field goal, uh, I think they'll have a shot. JT? Yeah, so the Cowboys will be receiving. And Chad Townsend's laying down the law to his team. He's telling them not to panic. They've got plenty of time. It's obviously golden point. He said he wants to get through their sets and attack with their defence. Right over to you, Freddie. Yeah, well, the difference here is the clock goes upwards, so the game doesn't stop until someone scores a try. This is it. We get a winner now. We, we do. might be here till midnight. <laughs> it's golden point. A double encore on this Saturday night feature. The Cowboys coming out of their own ends. Oh, no! Golden point, extra time. Luciano Leilua. Ruben Cotter. That is engine. Still running hard. After more than 90 minutes. Last tackle here for the Cowboys. Chad Townsend says, let's get out of here. Let's put the ball. Mulatalo takes it on the full. And he's forced back in the tackle. Down to you, Gal. Yeah, guys, the Sharkies boys just talked about having lots of energy in defence and when they get the opportunity to take it. Matt Moylan was very vocal out there, so I think if he gets a shot, He'll be taking it. Hopefully there's a penalty here for the Shark. He's high tackle without a doubt. <laughs> oh, Cal. <laughs> you know, Talakai, he's staying down. He's pointing to his neck. 
Hitting a hard tackle there by Reuben Cotter. Didn't look like much at all. Make sure we're square, guys. Wait, sit far. Sit far, wait. Sit far, wait. Let's play on. We play on here for Talakai on his own 20. Remembering the Sharks are running into the breeze. Royce Hunt. Oh, oh out the back. This is play on. Stand now. They've got it through McInnes playing the ball. Oh, so with 90 seconds into Golden Point. Hines puts it high. That's Hester here for Drinkwater. Takes it well. And almost put them. Kyle Feltz. 92 minutes of terrific finals footy so far. Five short of halfway North Queensland. Ruben Cotter. Val Holmes is lurking in the back play. Jason Telmalolo. What a run. That's Val. the run. Last play. Here he and goes. They go to Holmes. Valentine Holmes for the win. He strikes it. He's got it. He kicked it. He got Valentine it. Valentine Holmes has sent the Cowboys into a grand final qualifier after Golden Point. 92 and a half minutes in, we have a winner, North Queensland.